Becoming a web designer is not just about designing pretty websites. When you're working with clients and trying to build your business, there are endless other hats that need to be worn. And if you're like most designers just getting started, you're currently probably a one woman show. So it's down to you to wear all of those hats and to wear them all really well. So wouldn't it be nice if while wearing 50 different hats in your business, you didn't also need 50 separate softwares to make all those things happen? In today's video, I wanna share with you a favorite tool that I use to totally streamline the client management side of my web design business. But before we get into it, if you're currently finding yourself struggling to grow your business and finally start landing the elusive dreamy client everyone seems to be talking about, then I wanna share a free training I recorded just for you. I share the seven client finding mistakes that could be keeping you small and struggling and how to set up your business so that the right clients start finding you. You can find the link to that free training right here and I'll also put it in the description below for you as well. When you really dig into it, HoneyBook has endless features for automating and streamlining the things that you do every single day in your business. But today I wanna to focus on the tools that are the most helpful for managing the client inquiry phase, starting with contact forms. So obviously you can set up a contact form right inside Squarespace, but the thing that I love about using these forms instead is that it will automatically create a new project for you in HoneyBook where all your files for that potential client will be stored going forward. So if you're not a naturally organized person, HoneyBook has got your back from the minute your client inquires, which is so great. So to set up your first form, head under Tools to Contact Form. You can use the wand icon on the left to play with colors and fonts and buttons to get your form looking on brand. You can head under Settings to tell HoneyBook where to send your visitors after filling out your inquiry form. You can also create a default thank you message or redirect to a custom URL on your website that tells them that their submis submission was successful and when they can expect to hear from you. You can also set up a project type to assign contact forms to. So say you offer two different types of services that you want separate inquiry forms for and a completely different client workflows for. You first need to create those projects types by going to projects and then new. But then once they're created, you can automatically add the right project type here. So now anyone who fills out this specific form will automatically have a new project created for them with the correct type assigned. You can edit the questions right here in the form builder, dragging and dropping to change the order of the form fields. If you wanna make a specific field required in order for your visitor to submit the form, then you can click on the gear icon for that question and toggle the required field button on and off there. Change the format for that form field to whatever suits your question that you're asking. So text choosing from a dropdown, multiple choice, date fields, etc. You also have the option to link the responses to certain parts of their profile so that HoneyBook knows exactly how to auto-populate their new project with the information they provide. Then when you're ready to start receiving inquiries through that form, just hit publish. You can choose to embed that form on a page of your site following the Squarespace specific instructions HoneyBook provides right here or you can click view options and copy and paste the link into a button or graphic on your site instead. Okay, on to tool number two I love for managing inquiries in HoneyBook, the project pipeline. So as I mentioned earlier, when your client submits an inquiry form, a project is automatically created for them. To see your new potential client's project, you'll head under projects and pay a visit to your project pipeline page. So the projects themselves are where all your client's information, files, and communication will be stored, but this pipeline is how you will keep track of where each client is in the design process from inquiry all the way to launch day. You can customize the name of each stage in your pipeline by clicking on Customize. Add as many stages in whatever order you need so that a client never slips through the cracks again. If you feel overwhelmed seeing all the clients you're managing in one giant list and want to see new inquiries, then click on that stage in your pipeline. You can refer people who aren't the right fit based on their answers using a contact you already have saved in HoneyBook or typing in a new one. Then you can select from your list of custom built email templates to help you refer them. I'll show you how to create those email templates in a minute. But if they are a good fit, then they can be added into your client inquiry workflow. Bringing me to tool number three, workflows. 
So workflows are how you automate and plan the steps you will take each client through based on the phase of the process that they're in. So for example, if when a client inquires, you like to send some sort of brochure with additional information and then follow up again with them two days later to see if they have any questions, this is how you would set that all up. So to create your first workflow, head to tools and then workflow and then create workflow and choose the first thing that you want to happen when your workflow is added or triggered. So maybe as soon as someone enters my inquiry workflow, I want HoneyBook to send them an email with a link to book a consult call with me. I'm going to make my action to be to send an email and select which of my pre-built templates I want to send. You can select whether HoneyBook will send automatically or whether you'd like it to receive a notification to approve prior to sending. Select how soon you want that action to happen and what it should trigger. So I might decide I want to immediately send my email as soon as someone enters my inquiry workflow. I'd set my time delay to zero days and my trigger to after activating the workflow. You might choose to send a follow-up email a few days later, reminding them of your limited availability and schedule a call. Or you might even set yourself a task so that you will get a notification to complete an important step manually, maybe for something that happens outside of HoneyBook. You can also choose to send a brochure to help answer FAQ that your client might have during the inquiry process, or a questionnaire to help you gather more information before hopping on a consult call with them. Then name your workflow and be sure to hit save. There are two ways to add a client to your workflow. If you remember earlier when setting up the contact form, you could choose which project type to assign that form to. Well, if you go back to your main workflow page, you can now assign your workflow to whichever project type you want. Meaning anytime your specific form is submitted and its matching project type is created, you can choose to have your corresponding workflow begin automatically. Or if you want to read inquiry responses prior to having the workflow begin, then leave it as not assigned. open their project to look over their answers, and then add the workflow using the project management toolbar over here on the right. So you'll probably keep your inquiry workflow pretty simple to start since your one goal is to find out about the client and to get them on a consult to call. Once the call is booked, you can always create additional workflows with all the steps for your onboarding process and design process. Okay, on to tool number four, and that is scheduling. So this is a fairly new tool that wasn't actually available back when my focus was still serving one-to-one -one clients, but it's just so dang handy, I wanted to include it in today's video. So wondering how to get your client to book a call without having to leave HoneyBook? Head under Tools and then Scheduling. Then create a new session type. I'll call mine Web Design Discovery Call. Then type your availability so clients only book when you're actually available. You want to sync HoneyBook with your Google Calendar, which if you haven't already done, should appear as an option when you head under the Calendar tab. So now anyone who clicks your scheduling link will only be able to choose a time that isn't already spoken for in your Google Calendar and isn't marked off as off limits back here in your session settings. And then when you're ready to share your booking link, just click the little copy link icon for that session type. Okay, so we already have a way for people to inquire, get set up with a project, be added to our custom workflow, and book a call. But now we need to get busy designing all the email templates we will be sending throughout the inquiry phase. So we can head under Tools, Templates, and select Emails. Draft as many emails as you like. I find it useful to number them in order that I tend to send them as well as naming them so that they're easy to find in my little template drop-down list when I go to send an email. So edit the name of the email in the top left. Don't worry, your clients won't see this part. Then put in your subject line and start writing the contents of the email. You can personalize it by sticking in a name field that will automatically populate with the person's name and even attach a document that will always be sent with that template. So if you want to send additional information by attaching some sort of custom branded brochure, then you can attach that here. You can opt for designing your brochure outside HoneyBook and uploading it to your file of libraries by visiting Tools and then Library or you can create the brochure right inside HoneyBook by heading back to your templates page and clicking brochures. The brochure builder is fairly basic when compared to something like say Adobe Illustrator or Canva, but creating it in HoneyBook allows you to make it more interactive where you can request further information about their project or even have them place a check mark next to any services they might be interested in. 
So those are just a few of my favorite tools to use inside of HoneyBook to help me manage client inquiries. If you still, however, aren't seeing the inquiries you were hoping you would at this point in your business, then don't forget to hop inside my free training, Finding Clients as a New Designer, to learn which strategies tend to keep you small and struggling as a designer and which strategies will set your business up for success in the long term. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And also remember, hit the subscribe button and the little bell button to be notified when I drop new content to help you build your dream web designer business every single week. And if you're looking for something to watch next, be sure to check out these videos too.